Hi, guys. It's Miss Hensi. Um, So I have the honor of leading a craft project to go along with your read-along this week. Um, so the book that uh, Miss Brown is reading is called The World Needs More Purple People. And after I listened to the book and looked at all the pictures, I felt like the most important thing I learned from that book is that we are all purple people and that we are all perfectly purple. So I thought the most important thing I could draw or paint or, oh, you could use markers or crowns, whatever you have, um, would be me, just the way that I am. And uh, so I decided to do it right where I sit every day, um, where I paint and um, paint myself. So I'm hoping that you will paint yourself and you can share your pictures with the Walden family tree on Facebook, or you could certainly email them to Miss Brown. So um, if you would like, uh, I'll just let you come along on my little painting adventure with me. And if you want to work with me, um, you can go ahead and stop the video and find the materials that you'd like to use. And it might be convenient to have a mirror uh, so you could see yourself. Or if you don't have a mirror, you could always take your iPad and turn on the camera and uh, reverse it. And then you'll be looking at yourself as well. So obviously, I love purple. Quite a few of my friends love purple. I know Miss Von Bush loves purple. Um, let's see. I know, I think Sally Goodwin told me her favorite color is purple. So there's a lot of us that love purple. So I'm having a little trouble with my paint, but I am putting out lots of different colors of purple on my palette. So I have some dark purple. And then if I needed to make purple, who knows how I do that? She mentions it in the book a little bit. I'm going to need two primary colors to make purple if I want to make my own. Okay, I'm going to need red and I'm going to need blue. Okay, those are both primary colors. Okay, and if you're using markers or crowns, you probably already have a purple crown, or you can layer purple, or excuse me, red and blue, and then you'll get a nice version of your own color purple. So I'm going to put out some red, and then I'm going to put out some blue, and I'm going to mix them together, which no matter how many times... I mix paint. I love it every time. It's amazing to watch the color change. So you can see it's a little bit red there. So I'm going to add a little bit more blue. And then I have a gorgeous color of purple. Okay. Um, and then I need some skin tone. That's going to be different for all of us. For Ms. Hensi, I have kind of a, a peachy skin tone, so I actually am lucky enough to have some nice peach paint. So I'm going to put some of that out. All right. And what else do I need? I need water for my brushes, which I have here. You can use an old cup. Make sure you ask mom first or dad um, and fill it with water. And when we clean our brushes, if you're using paint, remember... We got to dance on the bottom of the bathtub, which means you got to kind of bounce your brush on the bottom so you make sure all the paint is out of the brush. Then you can use a paper towel and you can wipe that on there. And I can see, oops, I didn't get it all off. So I need to try that again. All right. And now it's coming off clean. So I am going to get my peach paint first. And I am going to make a face shape. So if we think our face, most of our faces, a lot of people want to say they're round. They're not really round. Um, they're kind of the shape of an egg, if you will. So I am going to paint my, I think I'm going to do my um, paper vertically, which means it's longer upwards and downwards. And I am going to paint my egg shape. All right, and if you're working at home, you can use your crowns or your markers or your paint and start laying in that basic head shape. 
as we are making ourselves today, as we are all important purple people. So, I am, and I'm gonna work a little quicker than I might sometimes, but I can always go back and work on details if I want to. All right. And I think I will wear a purple shirt in my art because why not? I love purple. All right, so I have done my kind of egg shape. All right, and I've got this so far. So I've got kind of the egg shape for my head, and then I've added a neck. I didn't add shoulders because I'm gonna put a shirt on. Um, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. If you're using markers or crowns, you don't have to let it dry. You can just keep going. But while that's drying, I'm gonna dance in the bottom of the bathtub, get my brush good and clean, and then I'm gonna get some purple for my shirt. So, and I love the message in the book where we're all purple people, we're all different, but we're all perfectly unique and purple. They said it's a magical word, I like that. And no making fun of Miss Hensie's drawings. As I don't work this fast very often. So I'm going to keep on rolling, adding my purple. And I'm going to look a little weird for a minute because I don't have any hair. If you're working, just use those nice slow hands, thinking about, hmm, what would make this more interesting? I'm adding lots of colors of purple to my shirt because I think that will make it more exciting. All right, so I have a fabulous purpley shirt. Very excited. And I think my, um, I think my face is dry, dry enough now that I can move into my hair. So Miss Hincy has crazy hair, as you can tell, but Kind of yellowy hair and kind of brown hair, maybe a mixture. So I'm going to put a little yellow out and I'm going to put a little green out. And I'm sorry you can't see my palette. Maybe I'll show it to you at the very end of the video so you can see how I lay it out. Um, let's see. I'm going to make sure my brush is clean. And then I'm going to go in and get that crazy hair. So... And some of you all have much less crazy hair, but that's okay. I, I am who I am, right? That's what this book is teaching us. So I'm going to put my crazy hair on there. And I've got it up today, so it's especially nutty. All right. And I'm using really nice, loose brush strokes because that makes me happy. And this book made me happy. So I'm just going to keep on rolling. And then I got that crazy thing that sticks out of the top. And I look much more normal now because I have some hair on my head. Now, if I didn't have hair on my head, that would be okay too, but I'm used to seeing myself with hair on my head. So I have put crazy hair on my head. And now for the hard part. I need to add my eyes and my nose and my lips. In my case, I wear glasses, so I think I'm gonna add my glasses too. So I'm gonna get a smaller brush and I'm gonna add those features. Now, if you're working at home with, right along with me, you might wanna get, um, think about what shape our eyes are and where are they in our head? We've talked about this before, if you've been in my art room. Our eyes, we always think that they're higher on our head than they really are. Um, but if you measure from the bottom of my chin to the top of my head, my eyes are actually in the middle. So I am gonna get a little white paint. It's easier to do the, all the white first and then add the color part. Just take it for me. So I'm gonna make that almond shape that we have for eyes. Ooh, 
I made that one a little bit big, but that's okay. I like it when my art isn't perfect. So I've got my two almond shapes. Okay, and now I've got to put the center in, which is called the iris. Okay, and I have blue eyes, so I am going to get a little bit of that blue that I already had out. And I'm going to put that pretty iris in the middle. Okay. And if you're using markers, you probably want to do, um, you might have to let the white of the paper be the white of your eye. But since I'm using paint, I have a little more flexibility. So after we have our iris, I've got my iris in, then I also need the pupil. And the pupil is that little tiny black dot in the very center. So I'm going to get a little bit of black. And I'm going to make little pupils. And I didn't clean my brush this time because a little bit of blue was still on there. But when I mix that with the black, it actually looks really nice and realistic. So I'm adding my pupil. Ooh, I like those. Okay, so there's my fun pupils. And while I have that black... I'm going to outline my face a little bit. Even though it's not outlined in black in real life, sometimes I think it helps in our art. So, and I'll show you what I'm doing afterwards. And I forgot to put my ears in there. Oops. I definitely want ears because I love music. So I need to be able to hear it. All right. So I have added my ears and a little bit of an outline so that I can see my drawing a little bit better. And I like that so much that I'm going to outline my neck and my shirt, I think, too. You don't have to do this. It is up to you. I think everybody's being different is going to be what makes it perfectly purple. All right. And I like, I really do like that outline. So I'm going to go a little crazy. And I'm going to make my crazy hair little outline too. Oh, I love to paint. It puts me in such a good mood. All right. So now Miss Hensi has outlined. Now, what do I need? Hmm. I think I might need a nose, which in my opinion, kind of difficult. But if I make just a little scoopy mark, okay, let's show it to you. A little scoopy mark and then I make two humps next to my scoopy mark and all I have to do is kind of connect them and my nose might be a little big because I'm using kind of a big brush but I don't care all right so I've got my cool nose and then our nostrils are a little bit darker so I'm gonna add a little bit of dark and then I need to add my lips so, I am going to get another little brush. If you don't have this many brushes, it doesn't matter. All right. And you can also combine what you're working with. So, you could use crayons and markers. Um, and that's called mixed media when you mix all your materials. So, I'm going to add my lips. And while I'm here, I'm going to outline my eyes. All right, so I have lips, and what color lips do I want? I like lipstick, and I like to play with lipstick, so I can have any color lips I want. I think I'm going to have kind of a, well, if my red paint would come out, I'm going to have kind of reddish, pinkish. So I'm going to mix red with, what do I need to mix with it if I'm trying to make pink? White. Correct, correct. Ooh, it turned a little purpley, but I like that since we're talking about purple. And I'm gonna fill it in a little bit. So now I have the beautiful purple me who seems to be missing something else. I think it's my eyebrows. I better get those on there. Now again, everybody's eyebrows are different. Often our eyebrows are the same color as our hair, but not always. But I'm gonna make kind of blondish, brownish 
eyebrows. All right, and then I love that outline. So I'm gonna outline a little bit too. And this is where you can go as crazy as you want. You can get as many details as you want. I'm gonna add eyelashes because I love eyelashes. I think they're so cool. So this is me and hmm, if I am perfectly purple the way that I am, then maybe I should put my name on here too so everybody knows who I am. And I think I will write that in bright purple. And I'm gonna write Ms. Hensy. And I have a hard name to spell, so it's H. E N C Y E. All right, the purple me. I'm so excited. So I have the perfectly purple me, and I am so glad you joined me today. I would really like to see your perfectly purple picture that you make of yourself, and. Please take pictures of it and send it to Miss Brown, or you can send it, um, put it on Facebook in the Walden Family Tree. And real quick, I'm going to show you my palette. So I'm going to flip you around. So that's what my palette looked like, and I love palettes. So I think they're so fun. So thanks for joining me, and I hope that you will share your beautiful purpley you.